Hi there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to order your variables in Stata. In order to do so, let's go ahead and pull up a data set. We can try Census 13 since it's preloaded. And let's look around here. Let's see that we have state. Let's observe that state comes first, for instance, then birth rate, and so on, up until uh, median age squared. And let's say that for whatever reason, you know, we're interested in median age. And so we would really like that variable to be here where state is. How can we do that? Well, the simple command in Stata to, to do that is order. So we would just enter order followed by uh, median age, M-E-D-H. Press enter. And now when we go back in, we'll see that a median age was in fact, um, you know, moved to the first spot. Now let's say that we want to do something to state as well. And we have state over here, right? And let's say that we now want to move state here to where median age squared is. It's, it's the last variable by order in the data set. The command to get it there is simply order followed by the variable name and then comma last. So what that's going to do, and you'll see it in a second, it's going to move state over here all the way to the end of the data set. And of course, all of this stuff can be undone. Like, let's say that you wanted to move state right back to where it was. You've done so. Um, you know, it's so it's 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 really good to know what exactly you need to do, not just to move variables around to beginning and end, but to move them around with respect to each other. And so here, I'm going to try another command for you. I want the variable of divorce rate to come before population. And in order for this command to make sense, let's look at population over here. And then let's note that divorce rate is over here. So the solutions that we explored just now earlier aren't going to help us. If I want divorce rate before population, right, I can't, I can't move divorce rate all the way here to the front because I want it here. I don't want it over here, nor does it help me knowing how to move divorce rate all the way over here because I want it in a specific location in reference to population. Well, there's the command. So I would just use order. Then I put that variable that I'm trying to move in, in order, then put a comma. And here I'm just saying before pop. And as you can see, that's exactly what happened. Um, divorce rate moved just before uh, population. And using that same logic, as you can imagine, we could change the before command to an after command. And now divorce rate has just moved to the right of population. You'll recollect that it was to the left. That's where we put it there initially. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear out this data set and reload it because I don't want to preserve the order changes that I did. So let's go back and confirm that we've in fact done that. Now I want to move a couple of variables around. Let's say that I want the variables of state and population to come after median age. So here's state, here's population, and I'd like them to follow median age. How would I do that? Well, again, it's, it's very simple, very intuitive. I'm just going to start by using the order command for the variables that I'm interested in reordering. I'm going to put in my comma, and I'm going to put after, and in parentheses, median age. And well, there we go, median age, state, population. Let's go ahead and reload that data set and do something a little bit different here just to show you um, what's possible. Let's say that what I want to do now is I didn't like where state was in relation to population. Let's say I want population to be the first variable after median age and I want state to be the second variable after median age. I just have to change their um, location here in the order command. And if you recollect before in the command that I used, state used to be right here immediately to the right of median age and then population was just to the right of state. So by switching up the order of those two variables here right after the order command, you can see that, you know, I control that as well. Now let's say that I don't want to mess around with any of this stuff. Uh, let's say I have no special you know, requirements for having variables next to other variables, but I do like a nice clean data set and the variables are intuitively named. And so I'd like to just have them be alphabetic. So here's a very handy command for that. We're going to use order space underscore all comma alphabetic. Before we run that, let's just refresh ourselves on what the data set looks like after our manipulations of it. 
And you'll see that, you know, by no means is it in alphabetical order right now. So let's enter our command and see what happens. Yep. So we got birth rate, division, divorce rate, and moving all the way up to state. So seeing those commands, you can see that, you know, with Stata reordering variables, putting them in any sequence you want, is really just a snap. It's it's very simple to do. It's very intuitive. And once you learn, you know, these hands, handful, this, this handful of commands and variations over here, it'll be very easy for you to make your data set look, uh, take on exactly the form that you want it to take. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening, and have a great day.